Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video session, we will be learning and we will be seeing the very first classes of J unit class that belongs to J unit test framework. Now, the very first class is assert class. Assert class is used when we need to verify the expected output and actual output are equal or are meeting the requirements or not. So, to verify the results for test cases, assert class is being used. In assert class, we are having different sort of methods. The methods are as shown in the presentation. Now, the very first method is assert equals. Assert equals methods actually checks your expected result and it compares it, it with actual result. So, it is comparing two data, your expected output and actual output. Over here, we have given two argument that is of type boolean. So, it is boolean expected and boolean actual. You can also pass string arguments and you can also pass any object, but those two objects should be of same data type. Okay. Now the next is assert false class in which we are providing boolean condition. Now this method will be checking whether the provide condition is false or not. So it will be running successfully if the provided condition is false and it will be throwing error if the providing condition is true. The third one method is assert not null and the argument is object. Whatever object you are providing, this method will be checking the value of its it object and it will be providing whether the value is not null or not. So, the method will run perfectly if the value is not null and it will throw error if the value of that particular object is null. The next method is assert null. It will be verifying whether the value of that particular object is null or not. But in this two cases, this will be running perfectly if the value is not null and in this case, it will be running perfectly if the value is null. So, asset null is used for that thing of so that sort of thing. Now, the next method is assert true. It will be checking whether the provided condition is true or not. So, it will be running successfully when the provided condition is true and it will be giving errors when the provided the condition is false and void fail. Whenever the test case is fail, this void fail method will be involved. We will see all these methods practically and how actually it works in our practical example. Let us see the practical example of different methods of assertion which belongs to assert class. For that, I have created one Java file of JUnit and created one example to check how assert method works. For that, very first step is to create some variable to explain the example. Then. Whenever you are writing any test case, we need to initialize it in at the rate before annotation method. So, I have initialized this all variables that is integer number, I have set value as 5, the string object temp, I have set value as null and to the string object str, I have given value j unit is working fine. So, we will be using this all variable values to check how the assert methods is going to be executed. Now, in the other test annotation method, you need to write the code which you want to verify for your testing. So, over here, I have written different different methods of assert class. So, the very first method is assert method. It will be giving you comparison of actual output and expected output. So, your expected output is J unit is working fine. This output will be compared with the string object actual that is j unit is working fine. So, it will be running successfully if these both strings are proper and equal and it will be returning an error if these strings are different. The next method is assert false. It will be running successfully whenever the provided condition, you need to provide one condition as an argument. Whenever the provided condition is false, this method will be running successfully and whenever the provided method is true, the method will throw an error. The next method is assert not null. You need to provide one object or one argument in the method. It will return true and it will be running successfully whenever the provided value is not null and it will be giving you 
an error it will be throwing an error when your provided object or provided argument is null same way a certain null method it will be running successfully when your provided value is null so we have passed temp and the value of temp is null so assert null it will be comparing whether the it is null or not it is null so it will be running successfully if you provide here not null value then this method will throw an error and the last method is assert true whenever the provided condition is fulfilled or whenever the provided condition is true this method will run successfully and whenever the provided condition is false the method will throw an error so let us check whether your program runs successfully or not to run your program i have created one more class that is assert runner dot java in which i am using runner to run the test case so i have created one result object in public static void main and i have provided our class that is assert example dot java that what that what i want to run and for failure it will be printing failure message and if it is not fail and the test cases or the conditions run successfully then it will return true so let's run this example just right click and run as java application so all these methods all these assertions or verifications are successfully run that's why true has been written now let's change a bit suppose i am keeping the full stop over here okay so this strings are not equal now again save the program and run it again you will be having an error the result is not successful that's why false is printed over here and whatever the error is there that those errors will be combined over here and those errors will be printed over here so you have one error that expected is j unit is working fine over here full stop is there and over your actual output full stop is not there so you will be having error and you can recognize that where, where your code is or where your software is throwing an error or not perfect same way suppose you are having this thing suppose i am changing greater than to less than again save the program and again run it again so you will be having an error if it is working fine otherwise you will not be having any error so this is how assert value works thank you